This week, Pointers football is enjoying a bye week and the team is using their practice time to learn from their mistakes. The Pointers fell to Dakota State University this past weekend 21-38. A combination of turnovers and missed opportunities resulted in the loss. Coach Breitbach explains what led to the Pointer defeat. And it wasn't our best football game. We've been going through uh, the preseason so far with zero turnovers in our first two games and, and uh, that turnover bug came up pretty big in uh, the Dakota State game. It was a game we felt like we could have won had we taken care of the football a little bit better. Uh, but also they did a great job with, with their plan and with their running back. Made a, a lot of big plays on their offensive side, which uh, didn't allow us to get the victory. So we turned around, came back home. We're here uh, on our bye week and certainly trying to correct the things that have caused us issues and uh, get better during this bye week. The team is using their loss as motivation to rest up, work hard, and strategize for their conference games. Senior Jalen Burks discusses what happens after wins and losses and how the team will use their bye week. Regardless win or loss, we got to drop it. We got a 24-hour rule. So 24 hours after the game, it's whether win or loss, you let it go, you learn from the game before, and you just continue to work hard. So we got a bye week here, which is going to help us, um, give us two weeks to prepare for River Falls, um, and just keep getting better day by day, making sure we're focused, making sure we're just ready to go. So. Time is a pressing factor that affects any team's preparation. Breitbach has had more time to work with the players this season, and that extra time has been valuable for the team to come together and understand their roles on the field. We've been helpful for the players. They, they know a little bit more of what the routine is like, uh, how we operate in our practices, how we operate in our meetings, what our expectations are, uh, from how we clean our locker room to how we go to class to uh, how we prepare for a game. So all of those things are are a lot more understood by our players as well as our assistant coaches. Um, then it's just a matter of putting it together on game day and playing well, and, and that's what we're focusing on right now. Pointers football will play four of their last seven games here in Point, and SPTV will continue to bring updates on the season. This has been Rachel Ellis reporting for SPTV Sports.